Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. You will never see him again. You will never see your husband again. You will never see your husband in this particular situation again. You will never see your husband in this mess again. You will never see your husband doing this particular act again. In the name of Jesus. I want you to follow this word from the beginning to the end in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, this is a beautiful day and I am opportune today again to bring us a beautiful word from the Lord. And I pray that for as many that are watching and connecting, may the Lord richly bless your family for in Jesus' mighty name. Do well to subscribe, do well to like, and do well to share as you are becoming part of this great and a lovely family in the name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word is a confirmation to someone you might be watching me and you're saying, Pastor, the state of my family is, is damn. When I look at my family, I regret being a, a member of this family. The state of my job, Pastor, is hectic. When I look at the type of job I am doing, I'm not proud of myself. Pastor, when I look at my life as a person, Pastor, I fear as to give up. Calm down. Calm down. The Lord has a word for you in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in the book of 2 King, after which Elisha took the mantle from Elijah, the Bible says the elder of the city came to Elisha. They cried. They say, Elisha, the situation of this city, as you can see, is pleasant. It's pleasant as my Lord see it. The water is bad and the ground is barren. This was a confession from, a, from the elders of the city. Most of the time, family, there are some certain moments in life that we need to let go of our shame. Hallelujah. A lot of people have died because they, 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 they just want to lock themselves inside the room and talk to God only one-on-one. -on -one. Like They don't want to share their prayer point to people. And one thing I've learned with my little knowledge with God, hallelujah, when God wants to bless man, he uses man. When Satan wants to destroy man, he also uses a man. So listen to me, child of God, it does not matter how you fast and pray. There are some rain that for you to be able to enter. You need somebody that has gone ahead of you to stay the atmosphere for you. You need somebody to hold your hands. There are families where individuals who suffered walked through route, maybe traveled to the U.S., suffered in the U.S. for about 10 years. Finally, when he met it there, then he will bring his family members very easy, very easy, very easy. That is how life is. Praise Master Jesus. That is how life is. But I want to talk to somebody. This particular prophetic word is talking about you will never see your husband again. Again. A lot of people asking, Pastor, would my husband die? Would my husband die? Some are saying, Pastor, why would my husband die? Maybe you're already saying, Pastor, you're talking about husband. I don't have a husband. My husband died. Or oh, this one, Pastor, I'm not yet married. Just believe me. Believe this word. In the mighty name of Jesus. The elder of the city complained to Elisha. There are moments that we need to lose the grace. We need to look for people that has the grace. I heard of a story of a great man, of a billionaire. This man had money. And there was a poor man that needed connection with that man. This man had to gather his courage. Went to that particular place where they were. there was a meeting. Like billionaire were there. Like he walked to this young man and told this, this, this billionaire, he said, this young man went to this billionaire and say, sir, please, I want you to help me. The man was asking, how is your family? That, 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 that man that needed money was not happy. His problem was help. So the man kept on asking him questions as they were walking around. He was asking, how is your family? The man said, sir, what matter is not the family? He said, no, let's go. How is your father? How is your wife? How, how are your children doing? So as they were walking around, they were discussing. They were walking, they were discussing. But the, the billionaire wanted to give this man something that is above money. As they were walking around and discussing, 
the focus of that man was just money. I just needed money. Men can give you money, but that money will not give you anything. But at time, men can give you things that will produce that money. As they work together, they enter the office. The man said, okay, knee down. As from today, you will never be poor. This poor man thought that this man would give him money. This man made a prayer for him. As from today, you will never be poor. This man left the place and went out. Left the office and went out. As this man went out, there were great people that have been longing for an opportunity to see this billionaire. But they had no chance. So as they saw the two of them working together, they knew that they had partners. So they came to him. They were begging, please, can you connect us to this billionaire? We have a contract of billion. We want this man to help us. Now the Lord gave this guy wisdom. This guy had to took this contract, manage it in a way that it changed the life of this man. This man ran the next day, went to the office and explained everything that happened to the billionaire. The billionaire said, okay, what have you learned? Because what you have learned, I want to tell you what you have learned because that's actually what you're going to do to people. You yourself watching me at the comment section, drop it at the comment section. What have you learned? What, 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 what was the connection of this guy blessing? What did, did this billionaire give this, this guy that made him become rich? Everybody will answer that one at the comment section. I will not be the one to answer. Okay, let's go back to the title. This particular prophet who is talking about you will not see him again. Hallelujah. And the Lord told me to tell somebody, it's about your husband. I saw a man that has struggled for so, 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 so many. For so, like, this man has struggled for a long time. He has struggled. You have changed job business upon business you have done a lot of things nothing is working nothing is working nothing is working and your wife has even been looking at you as if you are a burden to her your wife is asking herself oh my god upon everybody how could she still bring herself so low to become your wife the lord said i should tell you good news you will never see your husband in that mess again you never see your husband living that life of poverty alone. Again, the story that transpired between this poor man and this billionaire, that is actually what is about to happen to your husband. The Lord has sent me to speak into the life of your husband that behold, there is a connection that is coming his way. There is a connection. I pray for each and everyone watching and connecting. Have you been believing God for a connection? I pray that that connection will not pass you by. That connection will not pass you by. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.